Some of you know her as the wife swapping party girl. Some of you know her as the full of life extrovert. Some simply know her as Jake's mom. Some know her as the life coach Molly S. Go Like. Either way, Marissa Gonzalez lives life to the book. So sit down with your glass of wine as you do during her lives as I interview her from her humbling beginnings down to the biggest case of the year that shocked the world. And since she loves Tiffany so much, let's set the appropriate background. <laughs> so we'll start at the story you was telling me the other night. Let's start back. People who love you so much, they follow you all the time. They want to know about little girl go lightly. So how was it growing up? Oh, little girl go lightly. Well, I me because I went over and saw one of his videos and we shook our head I'm like what the fuck happened to battle truth this nigga used to be lit he kind of boring now when we do videos on the same exact topic your shit boring your Eminem shit bit my shit it was boring nobody watched that shit I got 10 times more views than you got my nigga where am I jealous of you with my shirts look better than your shirts they are of higher quality they feel better my slogan better than yours I'm fucking unelible and then you gonna get at me while I'm in album mode? You gonna get at me while I'm in album mode, my nigga? <laughs> you can't rap better than me. You do this old shit 90s stuff of this fucking cadence and shit that played out when do or die left the fucking industry, nigga. I can do that. And I can do it better than you. But how dare you ask me to make a song better than yours? When I already have, my nigga. What it do, man? It's your boy, Battle Truth. Let's get right off into this, man. I'm finna address this clown. I didn't put him in his place, man. Just put him in his place. And this dude do a lot of talking, man. This dude been riding my way ever since he came back, man. And then try to use it because he's jealous of me. That's exactly what he is. I'm just finna show y'all just how much of a lame this dude is. How much of a fraud he is, man. And how this dude always try to sit there with his nose up in the air like he better than everybody else. Only to the point that he knock and hate and jealous of everybody. And the battle rap community can't stand him. Nobody don't even like this dude to the point that everybody for the most part he try to go after. They all doing better than him. Better than him. Tried to go out to I Smoke Hip Hop. I Smoke Hip Hop numbers better than yours. Tried to go out there from a fan point of view. They numbers better than yours. My channel got deleted. Before it got deleted, it was better than yours. It got deleted. It's still better than yours and doing better, higher numbers than yours. 
you a fraud, you a lame, then you try to sit there and try to act like you don't love this, you don't like doing this. That's just an excuse to say that, to back to justify your numbers horrible, trash, and terrible, and nobody gives a damn about you, fam. That's what that means. This dude been here since 2013 and only got in all 400,000 views. 2013, 400,000 views. I got to bang the gavel on this clown sitting up there trying to act like he's some type of G, like he really, really bout this life, man. This dude been in school his whole life. Now you try to wait till you 38 and try to talk some G stuff to a person who actually live it. You a clown. You a bozo, dude. Don't you ever in your life think for once that you could ever sit in front of this camera, talk some tough stuff to me, family. You better back that up. All that talking you saying, you better back that up. That mean nothing to me, fam. I've done it for real. I lived it for real. You sit there and talk that crazy stuff. You don't do nothing, fam. Your hands ain't never been dirty. You ain't never been in the streets. You ain't never been out in the field. You ain't never been behind them guns. So stop all that talking, fam. You talk too much. You a lame, dude. You a straight up fraud. Dude got kicked out the conscious community. They was on his ass. Kick this dude out the conscious community. This dude got videos threatening to call the police on these brothers. Then try to come to the battle rap community like you so tough and all high mighty. Sitting back like you run something. Dog, you better sit down, clown. Sit down somewhere, dog. That stuff don't work on me and I know you ain't tough. You tough sitting in that seat talking. Do it in real life. Do it in real life. This internet stuff mean nothing. Do it in real life. All that talking, man, that's what this dude is. You a straight up hater, dog. You talk a good game. Prove it. Prove it. Hello, this video is for Vainglory Melons or anybody else out there that wants to make some negative comments about my recent video regarding Marissa as a life coach. First of all, how can I basically honor her as a life coach? Well, because I have talked to her personally and I felt that she was a very genuine hearted person, at least the person I talked to was, and that she really does help people. You can see if you sit in her room, all the people typing into text, how she's helped them. And you know what, all this Chris Watt stuff, the crime, who did what, who done it, whatever, in the end, 10 years from now is not going to make a hill of beans a difference to these people whose real lives are being affected by adversity. And what's going to matter to them is that somebody was there for them and gave them answers and direction in their life. voice of reason. And I know I've lost subs. People say I'm boring. People say, you know, when I said, haters be gone, I lost a hundred subs. You know what? So what? I lost a hundred subs. You know? Um, what I can really want, I really want to talk I want to break everything down with the whole go lightly issue. Um, okay, let's break it down to where what we know. Hey guys, uh, I had made a video last night about just keeping peace um, about Marissa and stuff. And I've gotten some negative and some good comments on it, but I keep responding to the negative ones, trying to keep it peaceful, because that's the whole point of wanting to keep peace. 
and I understand people are bad or you know I, I pinpointed a couple people in the video last night like pink lady luck and makeup mobster but I'm not mad and hateful towards you guys I like you guys and I think you have good content and I even said that in the video you have good things about yourself that you can do better things with what you talk about but I, I mean I'm not your boss I can't tell you what to do Bishop Nom 147 coming back to you on this beautiful hump day, Wednesday. Hopefully you're having a blessed and wonderful day, regardless of wherever you are right now in the world. Uh, bringing you the news. As you all know, uh, Marissa, which is Ask Go Lightly, uh, apparently went to jail in Louisiana uh, sometime last week. And... Um, Apparently it was over a theft charge, or maybe she's disputing it. I don't know. And uh, there's two different avenues a person can take on this. And uh, there's a high road, ladies and gentlemen, and there is a low road, ladies and gentlemen. The low road is a person can sit and bash this individual and talk about how shitty a person can be and the charge and... Uh, She's a fraud and she's a fake and that's the low road, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm not gonna take that low road. I'm gonna take the high road. The high road, ladies and gentlemen, is you don't condemn somebody and you don't bash somebody because a person makes a mistake. And I wanna clarify this. I'm not like Marissa, I'm not like Esco Lightly, I'm nowhere in the ballpark as her. I'm the Charlotte Park version, as if you will.